Hey gamers! Imagine playing your favorite Nintendo Switch titles on Android and Windows with jaw-dropping performance. Meet Citron, the emulator that's taking over with smoother gameplay, insane stability, and updates that are leaving competitors in the dust. Today, we're not just talking. We're diving in from the very beginning. I'll show you everything step by step, from installing Citron to testing games on its latest update. Whether you're a first-time user or a curious emulator enthusiast, this video has you covered. This update makes Citron faster, more reliable, and a solid choice for emulating Nintendo Switch games. Let's jump in and test it out. Let's check out what's new in the latest Citron updates. Recently, Citron rolled out two new versions in just two days. Impressive, right? It's clear they've been working hard to improve the emulator and fix bugs based on our feedback. This shows they're really listening to what we need. All right, let's dive into the updates. It's packed with some exciting improvements. First up, Citron now supports up to 12 gigabytes of RAM. This means it can handle bigger, more demanding games with smoother gameplay and fewer crashes, especially for newer titles with large textures and detailed environments. Plus, memory management has been fine-tuned, so it uses system resources more efficiently, making things much more stable. For Linux users, things just got easier. Citroen now features app image support, making installation and setup seamless. It even includes all the necessary libraries, and desktop integration has been improved with fixes for icons and compatibility. On the Android side, Citroen has been updated to work with the latest tools like NDK and Java 21. This brings better compatibility with new devices, faster installation, and smaller app sizes thanks to resource shrinking. Now for those of you who care about performance, this update delivers GPU optimizations. Memory access is now faster, leading to quicker loading times and smoother graphics, especially in visually intense games. Lastly, Citroen's core components like SDL and Vulkan have been updated, making the emulator more stable and ready to support modern hardware. Now you might be wondering where to get this emulator. You can find it on its GitHub page. Currently, Citron is available on Windows, Mac, and Android. But keep in mind, it's still under development. The first time I opened the emulator, it displayed a disclaimer. With Nintendo's recent legal steps, everyone is understandably cautious. Interestingly, Citron doesn't ask for keys or a game directory up front, which is a slight change from Yuzu's setup. Let's check out the settings. Citron's options are quite similar to those of Yuzu and other forks like Sudachi and Suyu, allowing you to configure the emulator based on your preferences and device capabilities. Now, I'll add my game directory so we can start testing. Wait a minute, it's not showing any games. Let's restart the emulator. Ah, it says encryption keys are missing, so we'll need to add them manually. How? I found an option. Open Citron folder. There it is. We'll just drop the key files into the keys folder. Let's see if it recognizes the games now. There we go, it's finally displaying games. I also tested the Citron Windows version on my Windows 11 PC, and it looks very similar to Yuzu, except it shows a disclaimer stating that this emulator is for educational purposes only, not for commercial use. It also mentions that users should legally own the games they play. I've already made a couple of videos on Yuzu, Suyu, and Sudachi for PC, so if you need help, check the description for more information. Until next time, happy gaming.